engineering mathematics linear algebra part 4 so these are some useful instructions you can change the video quality by clicking at the bottom right corner of the video youtube video play you can watch at least in 360p for better clarity if the video is found slow you can change the speed and if the video is found speed then you can reduce the speed also by clicking at the bottom right corner of the youtube video play please don't post unwanted comments and all we we just prepared this video for sharing knowledge. If the video is found useful, please subscribe our channel and you can share the video to your friends also. You can freely ask questions and request for videos on required topic. We will try your best to meet your requirements. So now we are going to the fourth lecture. So in this lecture, we will be explaining the Cramer's rule. Cramer's rule is used to find the solution of linear equations. So in the last lecture, we covered the matrix method of solving the linear equation. Cramer's rule is a simpler, simpler form compared to the matrix method. So we, the Cramer's rule will be explained here. So Cramer's rule. Cramer's rule, we will find the determinant by computing the determinant by including the matrices. So this will be the working example will be explained here. So for a two into system i will first explain for a two into two by two matrix system and uh, that is mean two equation two my uh, equations involving two unknowns then i will explain for three unknowns so for a two into system a we will form the coefficient matrix let the two into two system that is two linear equations are ax plus by equal to e and cx plus dy equal to f where a and b are coefficients c and d are coefficients and x and y are the variables so we can form the coefficient matrix A as A, B, C, D. Okay. Then determinant of A is equal to A, B, determinant of A, B, C, D. That we know A, A D minus B, C. So we know that for, for existing the solution, there are some criteria. If determinant of A not equal to 0, then the system has exactly one solution. For existing unique solution, the determinant of A should not be so zero. If the determinant is zero, then there may be infinite number of solutions. So the the va in variables x and y are computed by this method, which means that x is equal to determinant of E F E B F D divided by determinant of A. How we the top matrix we got? What we will do now? We the we have the right side matrix ef so to find the x value we will replace the first column with that right side matrix that is ef so ef bd that is we will replace a and c by ef by determinant of a so we will get the x value in the same way to find the y value we will replace the second column with the, that ef value that is y is equal to ac we are replacing the second column that is bd by the right side matrix that is ef so y is equal to determinant of a e c f divided by determinant of a so we will explain with an example for understanding the concept so we have two linear equations 8x plus 5y equal to 2 and 2x minus 4y equal to minus 10 so we can form the this is the method ax plus by equal to a and d cx plus dy equal to f then determinant is denoted as d that is equal to determinant of a b c d so dx that is for finding the x value we need dx we will replace the first column of the determinant by the right side value that is 2 minus 10 and for dy the second column by d minus 2 minus 10 so we will do it here the coefficient matrix is 8 5 2 minus 4 so we have to find the determinant so the determinant is minus 30 to minus 10 that is minus 42 now we got the determinant so to find out the value of x we what we need to we we need to do x is equal to determinant first column we have to replace with the 2 minus 10 so we are replacing a2 with the 2 minus 10 and de by determinant of a we, we will find the determinant of the top matrix by minus and for y we will replace the second column with the 2 minus 10 so we are replaced that column by determinant of minus 4 so after solving we will get x is equal to the determinant of top matrix is 42 and the bottom minus 42 so we will get x equal to minus 1 and y is equal to minus 84 by minus 42 that is 2 so now we got the solution as minus 1 and 2 
i hope you understand how we are getting the solution of two linear equations involving two variables so now we will go for th three linear equation which means that there are three variables x y and z so we will follow the same method the linear equation will look like this a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 equal to b1 a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 equal to b2 and a31 x1 plus a32 x2 plus a33 x3 equal to b3 where x1 x2 x3 is the variable and uh, a11 a12 etc are the coefficients and b1 b2 are the right side values so we can form the matrix form a11 that is coefficient matrix we left return on the left side then variable matrix then right side equation right side matrix so now we can write a is equal to the coefficient matrix so first we need to find out the determinant of a so we will use the same method that is determinant of should not be equal to zero when the system has unique solution which means that this rule can be used only when determinant not equal to zero because when determinant is equal to zero the denominator side will become zero so we cannot the division by zero is not defined so we cannot do anything so when the determinant not equal to zero only we can use this condition that is the when there exists unique solution for existing the unique solution determinant of a should not be equal to zero so by that method we can we will get x1 equal to d1 by d where d1 is replacing the first column of you know, the a with the right side values and x2 the second column replacing with the right side value and x3 replacing the third column with right side values so we know a here and uh, you can see the d is a and determinant of a then d1 is we are replacing the first column with the the right side values b1 b2 and b3 and for finding d2 determinant of the second column we are replacing with the right side values b1 b2 b3 and for d for finding d3 we will replace the third column with the b1 b2 b3 so we can find the determinant of d find the determinant values d d1 d2 and d3 so the x value will be d1 by d and y value will be d2 by d and z value will be d3 by d okay for easy understanding i marked it in red so we will solve an example so th these are uh, s three variable equations through three linear equations so we have to find the values of x1 x2 x3 the three variables three unknowns so we can write the coefficient matrix as 2 minus 4 5 and minus 3 5 7 5 3 minus 8 so the right hand mat matrix will be 36 7 and minus 37 for finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix there is an easy method simpler method for finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix that will be explained here so what we will do we have the coefficient matrix let's take the matrix as a1 a2 this matrix so we will write the first two, two columns on the right side so what we will get a11 a21 a3 that is the a matrix the first two column we will write it on the right side then we will mark the diagonals these are the diagonals from the left left top to right bottom so these are the diagonal which carries three elements so in the same way we will mark the uh, the other directional diagonal that is marked on the blue color so how we will find the determinant we just want to multiply the diagonal elements that is a11 a22 and a33 we will multiply it plus next diagonal a12 into a23 into a31 plus a13 a into a21 into a32 then for one diagonal we got the product sum of products minus the other diagonal for the same di other diagonal that is a blue color that is from the right to left diagonal that is equal to a13 into a22 into a31 min plus a11 a23 and a32 so we will explain it is sum of products along the red row and may minus sum of products along the blue row so we will explain it here that is the determinant of a is equal to a11 a12 a33 a12 plus a12 a22 a23 and a31 plus a13 a21 and a32 minus the sum of along the blue row so what is the use of this method this method will be less confusing why because when the mm, determinant that coefficient matrix involves negative terms and all because minus 4 minus 3 for the product if we are 
forget to put some negative sign we will get a wrong answer so this method gives an easier way so we no need to worry about the sign conventions and all we will just multiply it whatever the sign we will get we will put it so we will explain this with a example so that you will be clear about that so but the technique works only for 3 by 3 matrices you have to remember that so we have the coefficient matrix here for the previous case a is equal to 2 minus 4 5 minus 3 5 7 and 5 3 minus 8 so we will we are going to find out the determinant of the matrix by that method so first we are writing the first two columns on the right side that is 2 minus 3 5 and minus 4 5 3 on the right side next we will mark the um, red rows which means that we will uh, red diagonal that is from the left to top to bottom bottom right bottom that is which contains three elements so these are the rows okay so we can multiply and multiply them 2 5 and minus 8 we will get minus 80 minus 4 7 and 5 we'll get minus 140 and 5 minus 3 and 3 we will multiply we will get minus 45 so we will add all this that is equal to minus 80 plus minus 140 plus minus 45 that is minus 265 so next what we have to do we have to do mark the other diagonal from the right side so we will be blue diagonal so then we will find the product that is 5 into 5 into 5 that's 125 and 2 into 7 into 3 that's equal to 42 and 4 into minus 3 into minus 8 minus 4 into minus 3 into minus 8 so we will get minus 96 now we will we are going to add all the blue ones so sum of blue terms is equal to 125 plus 42 minus 96 that is 71 so the determinant value is just the difference between these two that is minus 265 minus 71 minus 336 so we got the determinant values i hope you understand this method so now we want to find the solution so we have the b matrix that is a right side matrix 36 7 and minus 31 and uh, the determinant value we got as minus 336 okay so now we will apply the Cramer's rule what is the step for Cramer's rule for finding the x1 d1 value to replace the first column with this right side matrix that is 36 7 minus then f the determinant we will get minus 672 you can try your own you will get the same answer for the next uh, d2 we will replace the second column with the right side matrix that is b so we will get the value as 1008 okay for d3 we will replace the third column with the right side matrix 37 7 and minus 31 so we will get minus 1344 so how to find the value of x y and z we will just put x is equal to d1 by d, d and d x y is equal to d2 by d and d z is equal to d3 by d so in that way x1 is equal to d1 by d that's we will get 2 x2 is equal to minus 3 and x3 is equal to 4 so this method is very useful for solving the linear equation problems and the Cramer's rule is explained here if you are having any doubt or something you can comment in our videos if you like the video please subscribe our channel you can share the video to your friends and you can request for videos you can clarify your doubt by asking us we will try our best to meet your questions thank you for watching thank you